Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. At ARC, we have a wide range of research reports and data resources available on our website. You can find these by simply clicking on the research and data link on the sidebar. One resource in particular is a set of reports and an interactive spreadsheet containing information on private sector employment in Appalachia. Within these resources, private sector employment data is broken down into 91 specific industries. This level of nuance is available to us courtesy of a proprietary data set from DataFab, which was purchased by ARC. In the 13 state-specific reports, data for the Appalachian portions of states are presented in a number of tables, along with short descriptions of each. An example of this is table one here for Appalachian, Alabama, which displays the 20 industries with the largest employment levels in 2021, along with data from 2016 as well. Also shown are the industrial shares for each year, which are simply the percentage of total employment in any given industry. Change variables, both absolute and percent based, are shown in the rightmost column. Another example is table two, which shows the 10 industries that saw the largest absolute increases from 2016 to 2021, along with the 10 industries that saw the largest declines. Several other tables are included in the reports along with brief descriptions of each. Table six in the appendix shows data for all 91 industries. The label for each links to an external website that includes a detailed description of that industry. If you want to be able to compare data across different states and geographies, we also have an interactive spreadsheet available. This allows users to create custom data pools and examine geographies and industries of particular interest. The spreadsheet is designed to be intuitive and easy to use, even for those without a great deal of experience working with data. With just a few clicks, you'll be able to get a custom spreadsheet designed for your specific purposes. The screenshot shown here shows how you're able to select geography types, whether it's Appalachian portions of states, subregions, areas based on economic status, or even the region as a whole. You can then sort by largest to smallest or vice versa, depending on what you're after. One quick example shows that industries in the Appalachian region with the highest employment levels in 2021, along with industrial share values for each. Just a few steps were required to get to this. First to select the Appalachian region and then to sort largest to smallest. Another example here shows the industries that saw the largest absolute declines in employment from 2016 to 2021. Once again, just a few clicks were necessary to get to here. Like all of our research reports and data resources, this can be used for a variety of purposes. At the most basic level, it allows users to develop a better understanding of local economies and trends throughout the region. But information here can also be used to help design programs and support grant application narratives. The data and trends might help you identify issues facing your community. They might also be used as evidence as to why your community is in need of a specific program or funding opportunity. While no singular data set or report can tell a community's full story, this resource, when combined with other sources of information, including other data sets, and most importantly, our stakeholders' experiences on the ground, it can be a valuable piece of the puzzle. I encourage you to explore this resource along with all of our other reports and data sets at arc.gov research. Thank you.